Hi there everyone, Guardian E here with another little news update for Azure Lane and our final daily pulls on the Parallel Superimposition event as we say goodbye. We have a maintenance incoming tomorrow on the 5th of January and alongside it will be the return of the Korovod of Dawn's Rhyme event. So the Northern Parliament event will be coming back with a limited time raid up for Kirov and Sovetskaya Belarusia as the SRs, Gremyashchi and Murmansk as the elites, and Talon will also be available on the banner, but not as a raid up. She will be both in the event shop and as a map drop. Uh, furthermore, Gromki can be obtained via the point milestones for free as well. Now, it is going to be a light rerun, so the light rerun structure, that does mean one week in length, and we should be getting over 30 pull tickets for free on the Raid Up banner. Uh, there will also be higher point multipliers daily on the event stages, and the point milestone rewards will have lower thresholds, so everything will be, generally speaking, easier to clear. Uh, alongside the event will be the return of the event skins as well, so a good time to pick up some of those if you were eyeing them and missed out on them the first go around. And while they haven't confirmed it for the global server, they did confirm for the Japanese server that they will be getting the return of the Manju Tower after the next maintenance that does of course feature uh, the elite Uranami after completing the daily minigames. So no rest for the wicked, I suppose, right out of a UR event and right into a light rerun. Um, but overall, not a whole heck of a lot else going on at the moment as far as in-game news. Now, if you are a fan of the ASMR series for Azure Lane, like I am, uh, Dengeki actually did an interesting interview with Yostar and the partner they've worked with to produce these audio segments, Atelier Mer. Uh, I probably butchered that name, uh, but the interview's in Japanese, and you can definitely get the gist of things via Google Translate. Uh, it goes into the origins behind the partnership, the philosophy behind the production, uh, and really, just the overall goal of establishing a new sense of immersion in the world of Azure Lane, which I think they did successfully do. It's a fun read, um, and they actually sort of soft-confirmed that there is going to be a Wave 3 and possibly beyond, which I am super psyched about. Uh, they're also currently running a 20% off sale on each episode on DL site. The sale ends on the 7th of January, so if you were curious about them, maybe give them a shot. They have samples available on the site as well that you can try out before you, uh, before you make any kind of purchase. And if you do purchase, uh, you'll be saving a cool 20%. All right, well, that's it. Real light on the news stuff, but now we're going to just go into our daily polls and our wrap-up of the Parallel Super Imposition. All right, let's start off the dailies. We got 10 of them lined up here. Let's go ahead and finish all and see if we can't snag ourselves another copy of the Yorktown 2. Would be nice. I already have multiple dupes of the others like this one or two. Guys, what is a rate up? What is a rate up? She's 0.5%. It's like, it's like reverse luck. I'm getting all the Hornet 2s, but none of the Yorktown 2s. So, I... <laughs> so, another little piece of information. When I was clearing D3, I think, like, in the first five runs of D3, I got two Hornet 2 drops. So, this is, like, my fifth copy of Hornet 2, I think, at this point. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the extra map drops that I got on the left-hand side there. I mean, like I said, she looks fantastic. I'm not going to complain, and I'm happy she's stalking me, but it comes at a price, I guess, and that price just happens to be Yorktown 2, I suppose. So, I don't know. Oh, man. Well, now we absolutely definitely don't have to get any copies from the event shop, so that's always nice. I swear. I swear the game is in full troll mode. Like, you can't make this stuff up. So here's here's our Yorktown, ladies and gents. That is... Oh, not the last one, though. Okay. I was like, I was gonna say, she, she's wrapping up our multi here, but, uh, yeah, she's making an appearance. Okay. <laughs> Alright, ten more dailies. Let's knock them down and see if we can't finally secure a dupe Yorktown 2. Would be swell. Of course, any of the event ships would be exciting to get here. A lot of, a lot of Kents. Jeez. Uh, Shangri-La. Man, um, I actually just ended up retiring one, like, before this video to make room, so... Oh, you give and you take. You give and you take. Ah, that was not so great. Alright, and here we are with our last dailies of the event. Got ten of them lined up. Let's finish all and see if we can actually get a Yorktown 2 after all is said and done. Uh, or at least another event ship. I mean, another event ship I wouldn't I wouldn't snub my nose at. But um, so far, yeah, this has for sure been, I think, the 
the hardest hunt for a, a UR to naturally pull her at least, because of course there's the pity, right? Um, so we always have that to fall back on, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's all she wrote. Dang, that's 2.30 in and no Yorktown 2. You know what? I'm just going to do a cheeky multi. I'm just going to do because I can. Just because I can. I want to I want to see that Yorktown 2. That's what I want. At the end of the day, that's what I would like to have happen. Maybe we'll just have to wait for the rerun for that to happen, but I'm going to I'm going to try my luck one last time before the event leaves and see if we get anything. Uh, I guess it's just not in the cards. All these Portlands. Wow. <laughs> Not even an event ship? You're not even going to give me an event ship? Uh, you know what? Sometimes it's just not meant to be. And you got to know when to throw in the towel and, you know, let things, let sleeping dogs lie. Just just move on with your life. Um, when Yorktown 2 returns, maybe we'll get another copy in that rerun, you know, whenever whenever she comes back in the next, like, five years or whatever. But, um... But no, it looks like that's not going to happen today. And of course, we did max limit break and collect all of the event missions that we needed to in order to finish the Call to Arms Sea of Stars. So we're going to go ahead and grab our limited for portrait frame here. So Sea of Stars loop is going into uh, going to now be available. And there it is. It looks quite nice. Space and time intertwined amidst spinning rings and destiny converges within the pillar of light. It's got this nice futuristic kind of look to it. Uh, and of course, we are still grinding the event. We did end up collecting a whole bunch of Langley 2s. Uh, I think three of them at least. I don't know if we're going to go much further than that. I don't know if we're going to get the last one in here. But we got three of them, so I'll just slap that over to the left-hand side too. And then finally, let's go ahead and clear out the shop. The 81 Sky Raider. We will grab one of these. Go ahead and grab these Hellcat designs. There we go. Start working through the augment materials. Should have enough at this point for everything, I think. Um, well, everything that I would normally buy. Um, my own personal kind of sweep. So, uh, these bookmarks... Uh, not bookmarks, <laughs> blueprints. Uh, let's see, the cog arrays, of course. And now, actually, I'm still shy here. Normally, I'd collect as many of these, of course, as I could. Um, so yeah, I'll just, I'll keep grinding the event these last couple of days and see how many of these I can grab, but, uh, the gear skin boxes, I actually did get 20 of those, or bought, bought 20 of those from the general shop, so I did clear that mission where I can just kind of, uh, I, I get a box where I can just pick one that I'm missing, uh, from the gear skin, so that's nice, because I like the gear skin selection this go around, and of course we did clear the event missions and get the collection item here, a blue flowers bloom among the ruins of a certain memory. A world created from ephemeral fragments takes root in the Garden of Recollection, and with time, it will become fragrant and beautiful. Awarded to commanders who displayed excellence during the parallel superimposition event. So there you go! Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're excited for the light rerun incoming of the Korovod of Dawn's Rhyme event for that Sovetskaya Belarusia, or uh, for any of the event skins that are going to drop as well. Um, let me know how your final pulls and everything, your grind went for the Parallel Super Imposition before we say goodbye to it. And hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching, for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.